All righty. And let's see. All right. So we got about a few minutes before we go live on air. Good morning to everyone. As you all can see, Shanquetta Cunningham, Mrs. Shanquetta Cunningham is my special guest today. We'll be talking about some wonderful things that she is, has developed. Um, don't want to give away the goodies just yet. Um, so how are you doing today? Good. I am doing well. Doing well. And you're looking all fabulous. Ooh, thank you. I put myself together quick. Like, even though I stay at home, I still deal with some of the seasonal stuff. <laughs> and it's just this right here. I don't know. <laughs> Give me the blues. Fabulous. <laughs> So hopefully I don't have a coughing fit to, in this session today. You look fabulous. I'm gonna move up my light because on Facebook Live on my phone, I look really dark. It is. Is it looking dark your way? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So I get for changing areas. One moment. All right, everyone, I hope you are having a great start to your day. Um, as I always say on my other social media platforms, uh, while you're having a great day, help make someone else's day great, too, because it doesn't cost anything to be kind. <laughs> um, you never know what a smile, a simple hey, a wave will do to someone's day. You never know what they're going through. We're all going through something. So help make someone else's day great, too. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> Amen. So we have a few more dark? moments. Uh -huh. so, so my computer, I look light bright, but is it still dark your way? It's still coming off a little dark. No. Uh -huh. I don't know what else to do now. Well... On, it was looking different on Facebook. It does. That's why I say it looks so different on Facebook than <laughs> here. I'm like I said, I'm illuminating right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, could be the contrast with this yellow wall. So, okay. All right. So, we have about 30 seconds before we go on air. Okay. So, everybody, thank you for being patient on Facebook Live. We will get started with our conversation in just a few moments. Okay. I hope that's better. Are you ready for Friday? Listen, I'm ready for Friday as always. Um, <laughs> I am more excited for January 20th. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have the pinkies and pearls everywhere. <laughs> It's going to be real. It's, it's, yeah, it's going to be real. But you know, it's a celebration for yeah, whomever. Good morning, everyone. Welcome yeah. to Community Conversations on Kaylee K 102.5 of them. Happy Tuesday to you. Hope that you're having a great start to your day. I'm your host, Kabila Jones. My very special guest is Mrs. Sean Quetta Cunningham of the, is it the Caris Group or Caris Group? Um, Caris Group. Caris Group. All right, previously, uh, Karis um, Consulting? No. Karis <laughs> Grants and Services. Okay, it's I'm telling long. you, I'm so sorry. My it's long. Foggy <laughs> this morning. Okay, I apologize. Um, oh, you're fine. We still provide similar services. Um, would you like to give a little bit of an update since you have changed the name? Has there been some updates in the services you provide? <laughs> oh, so thank you. Yes, so uh, actually the Karis Group I still say they do. Um, Karis Group is under Karis Grants and Services, um, but it's a more intentional uh, now opportunity to work with nonprofit organizations and for-profit entities. And we, being that a lot has shifted with grants, um, with helping uh, Black women businesses, um, with grant funding and a lot of private foundations opening up that outlet, knowing that Black women uh, businesses are the least and underfunded uh, group of businesses. And so there's been multiple opportunities. And so this space and this time has allowed me to really follow one of the first passions that I have and that's to uh, support uh, women businesses and particularly black women businesses. So along with consulting regarding nonprofit development, grant writing and board strategic uh, 
the, um, training and development that also includes um, program development, business ideas and strategy sessions, uh, business planning development. So uh, basically it's just a hub and CARES is a hub for um, okay. creating intentional spaces of opportunities for nonprofits and for-profit businesses. All right, so let's go ahead. Since this is a, an abbreviated show, I want to go ahead and get into some of the things that we want to talk about. So I'm going to pull up a few photos here. Um, oops. I need your light. Give me y'all. Um, all right, so right now I'm putting, which one would you like first on the screen? Um, either. So we can go back to the first. Um, I don't have to complicate it at all. Okay. All right. Um, so, oh, go ahead. I'm acting like a, I'm the host, right? No, <laughs> I just want to let everybody know they can see it says Thrive Tribe. I have subscribed, but I'm going to let Mr. Show kind of take it away. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. So along with uh, the uh, Karis group, uh, God has led me to um, this platform um, with ChanquettaCunningham.com. Uh, to create an intentional space, you know, that's one of our main buzzwords, intentional and strategic um, space for women uh, to come and receive purpose-driven content. And so with the Thrive Tribe, literally, uh, it's, I think I was just led to do that maybe on the 29th of December. And it's really uh, a way, there are so many voices, there are so many groups, there's just so many just things that can you know take your attention but with the thrive tribe um, here you get content related to personal professional spiritual family development we were actually just on the uh before this started we talked about well, where are your children um if you don't know i have five children and they are here um virtual learning and that's still operating the business and doing all of that and i tell people that it's not about the balance of things it's just a blend because before this, the kids did yoga. I sent out an email, sent a newsletter out. I am here. And then wow. when we leave, we're going to do ABCs and I'm going to take, you know, my 1130. And so it really is a blend. And I just want to walk you, walk with, uh, walk with you on your journey and your blend of things. And just to show you, we are all here. We, um, we do things well, and then we don't do things so well. So with the Thrive Tribe, you get content that will inspire you and drive you and then give you practical steps on how you can do your life to its optimal and best. Wow, that's amazing. And I must say, this is much needed in this time and space that we're all in. Um, and it's, you know, I'm going to pick on us women, not pick on us, but choose us. We seem to have a little more burden to bear and I'm sorry men I'm just speaking from a woman's perspective as mothers as wives as business owners as managers of the household we have quite a few duties and we just sometimes need to breathe and just need to like okay I need my tribe to be a support mm -hmm. system for me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with other women that want to do life well with you like you know um, if you know me I don't do uh drama I don't <laughs> I don't have time for it, to be honest uh, it's, you know, either we have, we're talking purpose, we're talking um, business, we're talking faith, or we're just not talking at all. And so that's what the Thrive Tribe is, is you're going to get content uh, that is uh, relevant to your needs and from a place of understanding. I'm not sharing anything that I'm not walking through or have not learned. And I think that's the other thing um, is just knowing that it's where the moment that you believe you have arrived, then that's the moment under the breath probably needs to leave your body. We're never, <laughs> we never stop learning. And so we have to create these intentional spaces and be with authentic groups of people. Let me say that as well, because there are a lot of groups, right? You know, um, the Thrive Tribe is something I'm inspired to because one of my uh, spiritual mentors has such an organization or a group and where she shares content. And so everyone is called to someone. And so the women that are uh, signed up, such as your lovely self, you know, I, <laughs> I, I take it serious to create, like I said, to provide content. Um, and we, every month as well, you um, are part of the Thrive Tribe, we'll have uh, one meeting a month just to really, again, talk about this great blend of life that we have. And to also allow women to speak to other women. I, I get, I'm a married woman, I love my husband, been with him since the age of 17 years old. 
there are things that we walk through in life with things he can never understand as, uh, you know, as a woman and how we do have to do life. And um, I think it's time too we start taking more ownership of the conversation because sometimes we can look at a lot of leadership things and and of of men, but men who don't do the everyday things that we do. Yes, and so <laughs> being a part of that space and being one of those voices in that. All right. Thank you. I want to say good morning to a few people. Um, Ms. Megan Mitchell Brown, Mrs. Mrs. Letitia Fox Rochelle says, Good morning, ladies. The Thrive Tri- Thrive Tribe helps me daily. I'm so appreciative. And good morning to Mrs. Clary Scales says, Good morning, Kelly Kangavila. Thank you. And to Derek Coleman, who says, Good morning, Queens. Thank good you morning. all for checking in. Thank you. All good right. Morning. So, you want me to go to the next slide? Sure. I'm following your lead. Okay. All right. All right. Vision boards. <laughs> yeah. So actually I just completed well, our family. We just kind of did our, the girls did theirs and I finished mine up Saturday night. And so um, each year I host a vision board workshop or workshops and usually they're in person. But of course, um, during this time uh, that cannot happen as, as I would like to. Um, but under, again, with ChanquettaCunningham.com, purpose-driven, you know, content, purpose-driven activities. And one of the things that I really believe in is making a vision board, writing that vision board, making it plain, and so that we can run with it. And then the people that we need to connect with that vision are um, able to support us in that. And so writing it down is crucial. Every vision board looks different. Um, a lot of people like uh, you know, doing a lot of cut and paste. I think I probably have about eight cut and paste things on okay. mine. You know, um, mine, is, I, I have the, the, the goals and the things that God has led me to do, the scriptures that supports them. So everyone is different, but what I am t- intentional about is um, the starting point. And what I really believe is the best starting point for any vision board is knowing your one word or phrase that uh, has been just... Uh, um, overwhelming you, I guess I should say, you know, we always, we, you know, how we say we keep hearing this or I keep hearing, I'm seeing it on TV, you know, and usually that's what God is leading you to. So your one word could be faith. Your one word could be believe. It could be discipline. It could be consistency, you know, but whatever that is, that is a starting point because then that allows you to streamline more of what you want to do, how you want to construct your vision board. And I believe that's a space to where as I facilitate workshops, I teach you how to do that, but I think your finished product should be done just with you and you alone. So I'm not a fan of vision board parties. If you are hostess of that to each his own, um, you know, I, I feel that we should get you to a step, but the final completion should be done with you and God um, because you need to be able to focus and you need to know, you know, what you need to do without any other influence, but being um, led by the Holy Spirit. So I am excited if you all would like me to um, facilitate a board workshop for your group, your team, your sorority, your work group, I would love to. All right, well, thank you for that. And I know this is something I am, I've never put a vision board together. I have a journal where I write things down that I want to manifest, but I think having a visual would serve me a serve me better I should say mm-hmm. that way I can see yeah. it every day <laughs> mm-hmm. it helps and then you can speak it like it's hanging up now on my wall and then too it keeps you in line again life happens and so sometimes when you may veer off and then you go back it a rest it's a restoration piece that you can look at and say hey this is the task this is the mandate breathe you may have got off track a little bit it's okay you acknowledged it and now let's pick up the pieces. And that vision board allows you, that physical representation allows you to do that. All right. And so I'm going to make it, I'm not going to make any promises, but I need to do better for myself. Um, you you can do it. One. But now since I know, you know, I'm going to push you right. So now since yeah. I know, you already know. Yes. Um, <laughs> and so, you know, kind of going back to my word, I've been using Many people who follow me, you'll see my hashtag be intentional, B E E. Um, there's a whole story behind the bell. But anyway, but intentional, intentionality is, you know, been my one word, but lately present. Um, 
I don't tend to show up like I should oh. in life and uh, for myself. So I need to be more present <laughs> in mm. my own life. So that's one word that I would put on my vision board. <laughs> All right. All right. So <laughs> I love I'm going to work on that. And so here's just more information about the Thrive Tribe um, and the email address to, or the website to um, sign up. So, yes. So that's Shank- it's shanquettacunningham.com. My full name, um, I was not going to shorten it. My dad's <laughs> name would be Shanquetta Cunningham, and I love well, Shanquetta, uh, and I love it. So it's Shanquetta Cunningham, no you behind the cube. Uh, Cunningham.com. And so the flyer that you see now is actually uh, on, we're on the 21 day no complaining challenge. So since January 1, uh, the women that have signed up for the Thrive Tribe at ShanquettaCunningham.com slash Thrive, uh, we are, have made a commitment. Like the first day we took, uh, took a personal oath to not complain these 21 days. And it's so easy to complain. It's so easy to uh, misrepresent what's going on because of our emotions. It's so easy to hold resentment and me- because that's also the definition of complaining, holding resentment, finding fault, you know, expressing, you know, pain constantly. And so, you know, what we're doing is focusing on the more words that we speak positively, uh, especially if you are a woman of faith, then you know, that with God himself, he's the greatest manifester. He spoke and it was so. And so being that we are created in his image, we have to be mindful that whatever we speak, so shall it be. And so let's just be intentional starting out off the year with saying, I will not complain and I will begin to express more gratitude, gratefulness and praise or to look at things another way. Or if things are going, like we're right now in some volatile times, it's okay to acknowledge the truth, the, acknowledge the truth, and then um, with our words, uh, be catalyst for change of positivity in this space. And so if you want to join us, again, shanquettacunningham.com slash thrive, um, and join the No Complaints Challenge. I must say that I have been enjoying them. I get the emails early in the morning, so I try to do other things before I just get all on my phone in the morning but I do at least open that email and I must say I'm enjoying this process um it's another one of the ways that's helping me to be more present um mm. if I can learn how to shift my focus then I could set the energy in the course for the day um there's a song that talks of, a gospel song that talks about setting the atmosphere and I'm a true believer in that what you put out you get back and you have to Mm -hmm. put positive positivity um into your atmosphere or else you're just gonna create a chaotic situation like I'm speaking from experience (laughs) oh yeah I I, I understand I and then too I think it's uh also so sad how we and I'm talking about we, a culture personally, have normalized the negative that we have to do things like this to now um, be intentional about being good and positive. Like this, because <laughs> we normalized bad and complaining for so long. And so uh, this challenge is really to just restore us back to how we are supposed to lead life. Um, and that's being mindful of the words that we express. All right. Thank you. I wanted to say good morning to some other people checking in. Uh, Dr. Ray Skills, uh, thank you for checking in. Thank you for your compliments. Um, my sister Gwen, all the way in Arizona, says good morning. Um, Ms. Good Linda morning. Johnson Frazier, who says good morning, Kaylee K, my favorite thriving radio station. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> all of our favorites. <laughs> I hope we're everybody's favorite at some point. Uh, <laughs> So thank, but I mean, we couldn't do what we do without you all, the community, and for guests like you, who come and share these, you know, wonderful words of empowerment. Um, you know, hopefully there are some men out there listening that, you know, could try to take this and apply it to their lives as well. Yes, you're catering to women. However, maybe there's a man that's inspired to start a group or something. Men need healing. Men need 
that you know the me and me things too. The whole Kaylee take hour. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) No, seriously, uh, it's uh, it it's one of the things to where uh, again normalizing. um, I think toxic belief that uh, men should have a nurturing or compassionate side. And I just thank God that my everyday with my, my dad, my husband, my, um, my pastor, that I don't, and so my girls don't see that. Junior doesn't see that there is, um, you know, something wrong with being vulnerable, with being open. And um, yeah, I think we, again, normalizing, <laughs> just normalizing all the wrong ideas, uh, you know, and I know a lot of that and some of that is, deep because of history and things. And so I'm very, uh, very aware of that. Uh, but eventually, sometimes in some day, we just have to say, hey, enough is enough and uh, move forward, men and women, for sure. Okay. We have another comment from Miss Maddie Warren. She says, I agree, Q. It definitely helps to shift your focus first thing in the morning. I've been enjoying the email, my emails. The messages have helped to keep me intentional about my day. Thank you for sharing oh, that. That's awesome. <laughs> that is so awesome. Thank you. Thank you to um with you and Megan and uh Rochelle. Patricia. Um <laughs> that was on here. I, I just I thank you all. Um and I think one of the great things with the Thrive Tribe again, it's women that I know and already have a relationship with that first even allowed me to some space to speak into your life. Again, that's why I take it seriously. I don't uh, disrespect the relationships that we uh, have. My sister is signed up. You know, just women that I know, that's how it's starting. Um, and then women, there's women that I don't even know, just, you know, have signed up. So I'm appreciative of all of you. And I think what's also important is knowing, again, that you can meet women and do life and, and gain new relationships. You know, one of the things that years ago, I would say, no new friends, no new people. And honestly, if you are real and you are adulting, then you recognize you leave room for whatever and whomever God brings into your life. And so that's why, again, it's intentional. It's an intentional platform with the Thrive Tribe uh, to share purpose-driven content. And then we meet, hopefully, like with Over a Cup, that you begin to forge relationships with other women that you can do life with. And that's the thing. We're created to do life with people. And, yes. and anyone that has this me, myself, and I mentality, that really is a lot of, of hurt, pain, and brokenness. And so, uh, because you're not, God has loved you too much for him to just only want you to just be in your, your own, you know, space and not have anybody in the world to connect to. That's not God. Um, that's the trick of the enemy. And so, just be with people. It doesn't even, I mean, I'm not, you know, saying this for the Thrive Tribe. I'm just talking about people because there, are, I assure you, there are people, there are women that are reaching out to you. If you're that woman as resisting connection, I assure you, there are people that are reaching out to you, but don't be distracted because it's not the person that you really want to reach out to you. Um, whatever the space that God has allowed you to be in, take that. And that's the first step. Wow. You are like, get out of my business. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, and I'm not going to get into my life story, but in 2015 through 2016, I went through a patch and yeah, I was in that space where people were telling me I was depressed and all that. I'm like, whatever. I just like being by myself. No clue what something else is going on here, you know? And so anyway, Mm -hmm. um, you have to stay tuned to my podcast to find out more information on that. (laughs) I'm I'm doing a few episodes um, in my first season, so Go back and listen. But anyway, I am going to be working on a book too, but that's neither here nor there. But the point that's is- That's awesome. You, you made some valid points. There are times we get into these bubbles, these circles, these spaces where we push everybody out. Mm-hmm. And that's just not the way to live or be. And when you come out on the other side, then you have that realization, like, I was really in that place over there. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> no, yeah, no, seriously. And of course I can say it because I've done it. I've, I've done a way too much. I'm, <laughs> I'm 35 now, so I've probably done it up until 32. I, and again, and I'm not one of those women that like to talk on the phone all the time. You know, like if I call you, 
okay, like, so if I call you, <laughs> then, you know, it's like, it could be three weeks before I call you again. And so it's not, not trying to be, you know, um, fake or anything, but again, you need community and you need spaces to where you can be with other great women. Yes, ma'am. So if you want to hear more conversations like this, join the Thrive Tribe, be a part of the movement. Thank you to everyone that checked in. Real quick, Ms. Linda Johnson Frazier says, amen, it starts with just simple kindness. Angel Jefferson says he created us the fellowship, loving the Thrive Tribe. Thank That's you all. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you One of all. the new people that came into my life that I had to embrace because she wasn't letting me go, but I, I thank her for that. I, I I thank her for, for being an intentional friend. Really That's great. awesome. <laughs> so thank you everyone for checking in. This has been Tuesday edition of Community Conversations. Sorry, it's a short show. Have a great and blessed day. Bye. Thank all you. Right. All right. So sorry, guys. We got to go. But thank you all so very much for checking in. www.shanquetta would know you. <laughs> by the E. Cunningham.com. So don't forget to... Um, register, sign up, all the debt. So thank you all so very much. <laughs> thank you. All right. All right, so I stopped the stream. Stop